Hello everyone, this is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com. Welcome to another Paper Pumpkin Kit um, video, alternative video. We are going to be having some fun with our current um, Paper Pumpkin Kit. And the same as always guys, I don't know how I do this, but I always keep this thing here. It's so funny. Okay, sorry about that. I guess you heard music. Hey, Becky. Oh, thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. I really appreciate that. Hey, Connie, how are you? I am so glad you guys are here with me today. Just kind of hang out for our um, Friday paper pumpkin kit alternative. I think we should like have wine or something, you know, just like, hey, when I am crafting. Hey, Tara. Hey, Kiwi. Welcome all. I am so happy you guys are here with me today. So. I do have some good news. I am going to show you today at least five, four of the five new papers that um, we ordered, or that, are little, that are new in the online um, store and the online exclusives. Okay, I have to like breathe and then try to talk correctly. Sorry, guys. So uh, just like a so you guys know my technological terror, right? Hello, Brenda. How are you? Um, I usually, so my software is able to connect with Facebook and with YouTube, and I can stream on both um, platforms at the same time. And that has been, you know, the norm for, I don't know, however long, right? It's been all this time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go, Tara. Tara's got me. Um, and for some reason, for the last, I want to say a couple of videos, it just would not connect to Facebook. It keeps saying that, I don't know, I even took a picture because I'm pretty sure that, you know, I'm going to have to escalate it with somebody, which is not going to be Mark Zuckerberg, right? Anyways, all I'm saying is I'm, it, I was trying to get connected to Facebook and get connected to Facebook, and here we are, unconnected. <laughs> so it is what it is, guys. Um but that always gets me flustered, right? So back to what I was saying, the good news is I ordered the uh, new, um, some of the on online exclusives new paper, and I'm gonna show it to you today. I actually got it today. And Connie, and for those of you that have asked about the Halloween kit, I am waiting for more paper for the Halloween kit because I need more paper. So I am waiting for that to arrive. I, it technically was supposed to arrive on Monday, but I have not checked. I have like, I'm kind of crossing my fingers. It's going to arrive tomorrow and then I'll be able to work all through. <laughs> Hello, Adrian. <laughs> you guys are having a party. Um, and and I, I'm hoping to get all that kind of like figured out by this by mid next week so i can send it you know wednesday or thursday so send the kits out and then most likely have the video ready for that weekend so next weekend so let's see if everything goes uh, uh, you know kind of works with me and my timeline uh you guys know i like <laughs> I really get always super, super excited about some of these things and they don't happen the way I want to. Oh, hey, Adrian, I didn't mean to like um, get you there. I didn't even know how I got that. That's super cool. Let's see. <coughs> see, I don't know how I did that. Oh my God, that's super cool. Oh, I just discovered something, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, guys. We always discover things this way. Okay, so without further ado, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. just super quick, this is my free gift if you buy $50 or more before shipping and taxes in my online store. Please, please don't forget it. It's free for you. We're going to be making some gorgeous cards coming up um, with these masks. And let's move to the crafting table, guys. Okay. There I am. Okay, like I said, I just got them. So really, they're not even unpacked or organized or anything. But I know you guys want to see it, right? 
I assume you want to see it. So let me know if you don't. But so this is the one that I was telling you guys that that um, goes with the Saint Nicholas Saint Nicholas um, bundle. I really really love this. And um, oh Jesus, something's falling there. We'll have to look. So it has the Santa. It is very beautiful. And like I told you guys, and that's why I brought this so I could show you. Um, you can totally cut these. See? Yeah, this is the one. You can totally cut this with the dies. And I always love that, right? And same with the other Santa. So both Santas um, can be cut up here. This is the only one that you won't be able to cut. Uh, but at least those two you could cut. So I am super excited about that because you guys know I love, love this one and um, putting that right there. And the other side is just, I don't, I don't remember. Oh my God, right, Becky? I think these are cool. I forget what they're called. Um, but this is very, very beautiful. Right? Pretty, pretty. So these two, let's move to, look at this, guys. I have not seen the paper yet. So this is a surprise for all of us. I absolutely love this. I need like 20 of these. <laughs> My goodness in heavens. I love, love, love this. This is so cute. Um, and then the other side is the same. Is it tartan? It's something like that that you call this, um, this specific shape. I don't remember how it is, but I do love then that you're able to like kind of mix and match and I really like that. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. guys. <laughs> and oh, these, and I am wondering if, because here it goes. Let me, I'm going to bring the dice out completely. So I am wondering, because these dice have um, the same thing and I'm, you know, I'm just wondering if they fit. They don't fit they're a little bit smaller than the actual die oh sad but oh well now this one i don't know if it will again kind of we'll be able to cut it with this one we have let's see which would it be if it's one of these no i don't think we'll be able to cut this me nope this one is too big so anyways well damask that's the one thank you kiwi i appreciate that um, and this is the other side, and again, it's the same shape, just in different colors, but I really love this. It's in peck and pie, and well, peck and pie is, is it peck and pie? Maybe copper clay. We'll see what it says at the end. Yeah, damn it. It is so beautiful. This is the next one, kind of following the whole kind of vibe of the house and Santa and whatever, right? So I really like this one too. And in the back, it keeps the shape, but it's just um, little dots, very beautiful. I think that if you're a good fussy cutter, right? Which I am not, but you may be like trying to cut some of these and put them in here, see if it fits, that'd be interesting. <laughs> so that's not me. And then a very basic leaves, holly leaves, but I love these because these are very useful. And I'm going to like make sure that everything is going okay. It seems, it seems, yes, da damask, damask. I was saying damask. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> and then the other side is more of that, more elaborated. And this is in Pebble Path. I, this is gorgeous. Um, and then we have one, one last one, which is just little, I was going to say boots, but stockings, because I was for, always say boots for whatever reason. And the other side, oh my God, look at that. That's gorgeous. So that's the first one. I am loving, loving this one. I told you guys, I was super excited about getting this one. Um, because I just, you know, I just love that St. Nicholas one. So, um, very, very cute. Let me see. So the colors that it, uh, it has is Cajun Cray, is Cherry Cobbler, Copper Clay. So it was not Peck and Pie. It was Copper Clay, Early Espresso, Mossy Meadow, Pebble Path, Real Red and Wild Wheat. And I think that you can totally probably use these with Old Olive too. Um, I'm thinking of that one. 
the one that's damask, da damask, okay, I give up with that word. So the one that has that beautiful pattern. Anyways, this is the first one. Well, maybe it goes through, it did go through. Super excited about this one. Then the next one, let me put that in there, it is not Christmas. But look how beautiful this is. This, I think, goes with... I have not gotten the um, bundle. It is the... It, what is it called? It says the light for Flora. Um, but I know that... I think that this was used in one of the... Um, I don't know, backstage, not backstage, one of those. And I didn't get the bundle. I didn't participate in it. And I have not bought it. But the paper is very pretty. <laughs> And I couldn't give, I couldn't let it go. Here's one of the reasons. It's like, I don't have a whole lot of extra paper now. And so I am um, always a little bit concerned. Oh, that, those are Amazon, <laughs> Adrian. Of course, Amazon. <laughs> they are just, you know, your regular scrapbooking um, paper. Guys, I am seeing a little bit of, slowness let me know if we have issues with the internet connection so this is very very pretty i really like this one and then the, I, I really like when they do this because you can't play a lot with just mix and matching right and then we have greenery and i i was thinking i am thinking right now about when i was doing that um the monkey card <laughs> This would have been ideal. And then in the back is just um, pretty peacock. And let's see. Then we have, oh, I love this one. Okay, so this is very much up my alley. Small flowers. I love small flowers. And it, it this seems to me that it's Calypso Coral. I think I would say it's Calypso Coral. Lovely 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 but you can also of course mix and match these i like this very much we have bigger flowers my guess is that if you have this is they call like timeless i forget the name of these bundle um my guess is that they will probably um the dice will cut some of these flowers. Um, I just do not have it and maybe i'll get it i, I don't know and this is fresh freesia or maybe bubble bath. I think fresh freesia and bubble bath are so close together. More leaves. I love leaves. And this is pool party. I know that one. And extra flowers. So these to me are that kind of paper that is super useful because you can use it all together, mix and match, and it will work very well. Um, and let's see the colors that it has is berry burst, blackberry bliss, Light, bright, black, light blackberry bliss, bubble bath, calypso coral. So I was, it was bubble bath. Fresh, I know it has fresh freesia, lemon lolly, parakeet party, pool party, and pretty peacock. A lot of parties in this paper, huh? Okay, so this is the next one. I like this one very much. I think it's very versatile, and that's why I like it. Um, so. I have to say, just in case, I did not get the gold. You're not, you guys are not going to believe it. I wish Miss, Miss, <laughs> I wish Miss Judy were here because she's the one that makes fun of, with me um, about this. So this is called Shining Christmas, and you're going to love this. This is specialty paper. I did not get the gold. It, it, they had like one gold and silver, and I did not get those. I have still a lot of my more dazzle. Uh, gold and I have to use that like I have to be mindful so I did not get that okay so this is specialty paper I don't know if you guys can tell it but the red is shiny isn't that gorgeous oh my god so pretty and then on the other side is not Chinese just regular paper but um very very useful again I love these double-sided papers and the same here, so this is, so the red is the one that's so very shiny. You can sort of say, you can see it. And this is the back. Oh, so pretty. It's similar to the design in the um, Oh Holy Night BSP. Look at this one. Oh, so beautiful. I love it. And then it has, again, bright and beautiful. 
it's bright and beautiful bright christmas i forget the name of that sweet i didn't get it but that will match with that so i can i think it has like a little bit of all the sweets huh and this one is probably one of my favorites so the red is the chinese isn't it so pretty and then ornaments in the other side gorgeous i absolutely love this and oh my god they have a lot of them i love these I, so this is the kind of paper i love because you can't totally mix and match um use this as, as the background like it's busy but it's it's beautiful so i really really like this one and don't even get me started with polka dots right it's probably one of my favorite things to have because like again i feel that they're just so useful and the last one is little candy canes very beautiful and just like x x's on the other side I absolutely love this one. So I am not, I am very happy that I got this one because I think I am going to use it a lot. I am actually thinking I may get an extra one because I feel that this is one of those papers that you could use over and over and over and over again, right? It's very beautiful, Becky. Yes, it's gorgeous. I, I really like it. Um, very Christmas. And this is the last one. This is called, oh, this was a tartan, <laughs> tartan foil. I think you guys are going to love it. It's more on, more, oh, sorry guys, that's loud. More on the, um, it seems to me more on like um, Thanksgiving-ish. So this one is also specialty paper. I think you have only three of them. I mean two. Yes, I think it's two per, per, um, sheet <laughs> and you have this is copper clay yes or i just threw that away i'm so brilliant let's see is it peckham pie no it's copper clay it's copper clay but i love i, I really like um plaid stuff I, I really love it and this is the other side i really love it and as you can tell it's, it's chinese it's chinese both ways very very beautiful so you have two of each is what it is then this is lost lagoon and it's the same concept for all of them but i mean like this works beautiful for thanksgiving and lastly i'm trying to get more but it's only two <laughs> and lastly is pebble pep and again it's the same same concept shiny shiny both sides um super super useful i so one of the things i like about these is that these can be also very masculine um cards and i was telling you guys about um the walk in the forest um oh goodness how is it called the walk in the forest paper i think is what it's called that i really like it and i actually order a new one because i feel it's very masculine and it's hard to get some of some of those masculine um, papers sometimes, right? So I really love when you get something like this that has some chine. So Maria is happy, right? Okay, we're done, guys. Welcome to all those that have joined us. Don't forget to write on the chat. Remember that you will be participating in the um, raffle of if it's today. Yes, of today's card. It's always a last week card. It's always a thing. But no. So if you participate today, you will get this, whatever we're making today. So let's start with what we're making today. I'm sorry about the delay. That took us all 20 minutes, guys. I'm going to try to speed up. So I am starting. Just a quick note. Just remember that I don't use anything that is not in the kit unless it is white cardstock or black cardstock we're going to be using both and we are starting with this is 12 inches by five and a half so i got this i saw this card from lisa curcio which is actually my upline she did it a little bit different i, I, I changed it a little bit because she did something that's awesome um and it is using i'm gonna bring it in here so just using paper, right, instead of using cardstock, 
so you when you fold it you have both sides kind of like we did with last week's and with, with this Tuesday, past Tuesday's um, the card for my husband uh, that it had you know that I used the DSP instead of cardstock but um, since I can't add anything well not can't but I choose not to add anything then we can't do that in here but we are going to use white and so she made hers I want to say this piece was four by five and a quarter so kind of like getting that quarter in we're going to make this four so it's going to end up being four by five and a half okay so we're going to align the 12 inch side to our two inch here and we are going to score so this is pretty simple we're going to score at two we're going to move to four and score so it's kind of a gateful but she did something very cute and we are going to, that's why i like about it it's the cute of what she did in the front and i am not sure if somebody else has done it i just saw it from her we're going to move to eight and we are going to score at eight and then we're going to score at ten so we have right two panels two outside panels and two inside two yeah inside panels i'm going to bring my um bone folder real quick and we're going to fold this so let's start i'm going to call this the, the beginning so i'm going to this one is going to go mountain this one is going to go valley so we're going to create this and I'm going to bring my bone folder and crease those two folds and so we're going to do the same thing we're going to go here valley and this one will come mountain and that looks pretty good which <laughs> sometimes is kind of a miracle so the, there's a couple of differences of course what she did in her card and, and I and I wanted you know tell you guys a little bit is she cut in here right in these areas so she cut these so she cut one area and then use this to put use the leftover to cut in here and that looks pretty pretty good and it's pretty good tip if you're using again the DSP and then you can just turn the you know use the other color and it just creates immediately a um, I always forget how you say that name in English, but that's fine. This form, <laughs> not the square. Okay, that form. So what we are going to do in here is we are going to have to cut both sides um, because we do, we're not we don't have a colorful other side to play with, right? So the easiest way to do this, and, and you guys know I use my trimmer to do everything pretty much. <laughs> and so I am going to align these at two and a half. So here's my two and a half on the five and a half side. We're going to align to two and a half, okay, right there. And I'm going to remove everything and I'm going to bring my pencil that's hiding away. And we are going to like make a little mark in there. One mark and one mark. Okay, and now we're going to turn around. So we're going to diamond. Thank you, Kiwi. So simple. Like I didn't like diamonds. Huh? We're going to turn this around and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to score at five and a half. I mean, we're going to align at two and a half. Two and a half. Can't talk today, guys. And then we are going to mark. And those are going to be our cuts. Okay, so we're going to have a little gap in here that's not going to be a per perfect diamond. I'm okay with that. In her card, it's the same. It's just a little smaller, that gap, because instead of being five and a half, it's five and a quarter. Um, the reality, I think, is that it's going to be just the same. It's going to look pretty similar, or I am hoping anyways. Um, and what we'll do is we'll kind of decorate these right and um with some of the paper we have and that's going to create i am hoping kind of this a similar um look so we are going to and you guys i'm pretty sure figured out what was coming and let me it gets rebellious sometimes let me move this 
Again, do please let me know if there's any issues with um, the streaming. We're going to align these little dots. So the first dot with our um, with this core line in here, right? Pretty, it's pretty simple. And okay, I am doing the best I can without. I'm going to move this a little bit towards me, <laughs> so I can actually see a little better what I'm doing. Okay. And we cut. And that was pretty decent. Looks like I made my thing a little bigger, but we can erase that. That's the advantage. I don't like working with white cardstock very much. The only reason I'm doing this in white cardstock, guys, you can laugh, it's fine. It's because we don't we no longer have big packets of black 12 by 12. It, I, I I looked and I haven't seen it, but and so and I like doing so many fun folds that are 12 by 12 that I feel that I have to save them <laughs> that I need that paper for something right so I didn't um, use black I would have done black in a jiffy but that's how it goes and now we're doing the same thing aligning that little mark we made to the score line here and we have that so kind of what I was telling you guys is in her case she just said save this piece which was here and then you can just put it here and it works wonderfully now i'm gonna erase this because it's kind of bugging me okay much better and now we're going to do the same thing around here we turn around we align the mark with our score line i think it is pretty centered and i'm going to remove this and move to the next one oops to the next side and we're going to do the exact same thing we're aligning those two points and then we're cutting between them and erasing of course those two marks i made i think we are going to need to cut a few other pieces but we are going to organize them together because you know me very well i did cut my black pieces i hope i don't need any more i have more black paper but you know I'm just saying this is a four by four inch um, square and I am just wondering this is why I am oh it's kind of big I figured it was going to be big but I didn't know how big <laughs> so I guess we need to make this three by three let's try three by three let's try three and a half by three and a half that's the that's the safe way to go right three and a half by three and a half let's see how this rolls still too big guys so we need to cut these i i guess three by three it's going to be the right the right measurement i had it right at the beginning well not at the beginning when i was talking about it okay go back in here and that works much better we could still go a little bit smaller if we wanted to um I'm thinking about this, guys. Sorry. What you guys think? Smaller? Because in the end, this is four. So I am thinking that what's going to happen is if you're going to put it in a five, you know, in a regular A2 envelope, it's going to fit, even if it's off. And I think I like it off. We'll leave these for a minute while you guys tell me what you prefer. Then we have, again, these are our layers for here and these layers are one and seven eighths by five and three eighths and we have layers for the inside which are the same size and finally we have the middle layer which is going to go in here and this one is three seven eighths by five and three eighths okay so those are the initial layers we have in black and now i'm going to bring oh Guys, I thought I had more of this. I was like, oh, I was trying to like ventilate or something. So we are going to be using most of the forget-me-not stuff for this card. And that means that I will probably, I may end up struggling to do one of the um, extra. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if I don't receive the paper pumpkin kit sooner rather than later, we may be stuck without 
any stuff to work with. <laughs> but hey, that's part of life. So my thought is we are going to cut these and we are going to add right there at that um, where it falls. And actually, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is, it was a little bit off. And so I am going to cut that piece. And we are going to cut two pieces that are the ones that are going to go in the front. I think this is going to go in the front. And we are going to bring, I'm not cutting anything yet because I want to make sure, guys, I did not notice this either. So I, I was making fun of me last, last video, you remember, and I just can't believe I didn't see that. We're going to do as we always do in the sense of utilizing our envelopes. Um, and I really love, of, I really love the opportunity of using everything that's available to me in this kit. So that is a huge plus to me. And we are going to kind of, I'm going to cut these in here, right? A little bit like where the glue is at mainly because I won't be able to use that. I, I think it will look really weird. Well then, yeah, it will look weird. Let's face it, Maria. Don't don't even get yourself started. And if you guys pay attention to this, this measures over. It's like five and three quarters. So it's going to work really well for us to cut right here, right? So right there with that folded, and we are going to use this. So here is kind of my thought is we're going to be using this one in the back here. So we have some some decoration. And then we're going to be using these smaller ones or, you know, yeah, this one is in here. So let's go ahead and get started. I need, I'm going to cut, I'm going to make this straight and we always have that slanted um, area. So I'm just going to make this straight. I'm going to make this right there. And now I don't think I need to do this all the way. Okay, uh, I just got distracted, guys. It's fine. It's fine. So we are, I, although I like the green, I like this better. So I am going to cut these at five and a quarter, taking off some of that green. And this will be just, again, a an eighth smaller um, than the black. And now we're going to cut these at one and three quarters. So we're just creating those layers. This is such a sad moment. And one and three quarters, okay? And I'm gonna save this because it will most likely. Oh, Adrian, I'm so sorry. I know, you know what? I, I think that a lot of people lose faith sometimes in what Paper Pumpkin is going to bring. Uh, because I work with alternatives, it makes sense to me to get it right, and then I make the video and whatever. Um, but one of my clients didn't get the beach one, the summer one, and she was like devastated. <laughs> devastated. I, I actually made a card and sent it to her because she was like really devastated because she couldn't believe, because she loves the beach and whatever, and she just couldn't believe that she did not get it. <laughs> so there's that. Um, now we're going to get these. I love these, but we're going to let that go. We can't help it. We are going to cut these also. And in this case, I'm going to get rid of some of that yellow. We're going to cut at the same measurement. So that is five and a quarter and one and three quarters. And the other one will be one and three quarters as well. So I think we're getting somewhere. The last thing I need that I don't think I'm gonna be able to do with what I got here. So I'm gonna bring a piece of white. Let me see if this is gonna work. Nope, this is not gonna work. We need this to be a little bigger. I have all my white stuff in here and it's all these papers. This is just crazy. Okay, so we need this to be four. Wonderful, this is perfectly four. And now we're gonna cut these at five and a quarter because we this is what's gonna be here in the middle. That's not the piece for the middle, I hope. Oh, yes, it is the piece for the middle. It this needs to be, sorry guys, this needs to be three and a three and three quarters. I got all confused in there. And five and a quarter. That one was good. 
Oh, that's very nice of you, Connie. How many do you get usually? So let's go ahead and put the pieces together and let's see how we do. I usually, I told you guys, I usually just get the regular one. I mean one, not the regular, it's the same one. <laughs> I usually just get one. So um, I feel that, you know, like I told you guys, I don't wanna like have a lot of stuff and then I don't use it because what really happens in spite of how illogical that can be is that I don't use them. I put them away and then I don't use them. That's why I try to use everything available when I am doing the, the alternatives. So I, it doesn't go to waste kind of setting. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and adhere all these layers. That was a lot of glue, guys. A lot of glue. That's crazy. Okay, I made it, I made it. We have one. And then we're gonna come here with this one. I keep, I feel like this is killing me, this is so cute. Should I've used the other side, now that I think about it. And now we're gonna glue this here. And we're gonna go ahead with the other two panels. Oh, really? That is interesting. Why Why have you not worked on it, Connie? I, well, I think that I have had a couple of kits. Let's, let's be honest that I was like, what am I going to do with this, right? Like I don't particularly love them. One of them, I want to say it was like May, May or April's kit last year. Um, it was with the new ink colors, which that's perfectly fine, but it had like, I don't know. The cars themselves were cute. I, I don't know. I just I just really struggle with that one. Um, and then that summer, they had one. It was like sea-themed. Um, you are so funny, Connie. And I didn't prefer that one either. So I was like, eh, I'm not sure if I'm loving this, right? But um, I work with my... I think that that's the advantage is that I actually end up working with these anyways. And so that makes it at least cool for me. We're going to bring our stamp and let me get my pretty peacock in here. And we're going to stamp. This is going to be the inside of the card. And you guys know I always do this. I know I've used it already, but it's like I have it now. And I am going to put one in the corner okay guys let me put this straight i don't know why i'm doing this cricket right like hello and so it's as straight as possible i really really love this stamp set so i have to say this this will be awesome to color right you just can do a little bit and it'll be colored and actually i just give myself a good idea no i'm not going to do it guys it's fine oh, why not so I'm going to color this. I shouldn't have, see, see what you guys do? Okay, I'm bringing my blending pen. If you don't have a blending pen, I think you need one. We're just going to like, if you know me, you know I love coloring. So I cannot just not try to embellish this a little bit. I am not being too, um, perfectionist on this right these are all going to be the same color um, but just imagine what you could do if you could totally color this in yellows and um, in other greens right I'm gonna put this a little bit darker because those are in the back so I I think it's again this this is the kind of stamp that I love it looks a lot like and I know it's not but like the dainty delight a little bit in the sense of it's um it's kind of going up I love that kind of uh, stamps because they're so easy to work with and to help decorate you know and now we're gonna go ahead and clean I mean clean paint those and 
let me go over these i am very happy i just so with this old order i made i got new blending pens because i think i am the terror of the blending pen guys <laughs> i think i destroyed them um i was watching i think it was lisa who was talking about you know use your blending blending pens with care and whatever and i was like oops well that ain't me but um, at least I use them, right? So I am very fond of using these because they are so easy to use um, in just a jiffy, right? Like I am doing here. You don't need anything, anything else to make this look good. I mean, it just looks good as is. I'm leaving some of the flowers lighter, right? So we create a little bit of interest there. So if you don't have blending pens, I think you have to get them. That is bottom line. And if you're scared of them for whatever reason, somebody was telling me, oh, I'm not very confident with them. They are super simple. Look how simple that was. And we just changed the whole, um, always remember to clean your pen. It needs to come up completely white or transparent, I guess it's not white. And so, oh, I don't know why I closed that one. I still need to put the sentiment. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> One of the sentiments anyways. These also, I have to say, it has some of my favorite sentiments. Um, your friendship is unforgettable. And since these are forget-me-nots, we're going to use that one, of course. And I'm going to bring the smaller one. And this one, I have not used this. So we are definitely going to try it there and just bring it up here. And that's as good as it's going to get. It, 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 I did pretty good. Let's face it. Okay, so let me show you up close how cute this looks with just a little bit. What, what it took, it took us like four minutes maybe. So that is super easy. And we are going to just put this one in here. And that is cool that I just saw this because I'm going to tell you guys something that I just noticed. And I am thinking that if I ended up, you know, kind of not having a whole lot of extra products, you can totally make um, this a card with black. Pretty Peacock. That was awful, Maria. Pretty Peacock and trying to create some, some Pretty Peacock cardstock. And that would look gorgeous look how beautiful that color combination looks with black so white black and pretty peacock huh and now we're going to add these in here so we're going to go from the center out which is kind of what makes sense right and now we're going to bring this so i really really like these in here Adrian, yes, I do. That's why I, I do agree with you need to use your paper pumpkin kits. <clears throat> they are so cute. Some, most of them are really, really nice. And um, yeah, okay, I'm holding this. I am not sure why I'm using glue if I know that, you know, it's going to be a thing. But um, I, here I am using glue. So using glue is easy to apply. It's just hard hard because it does not glue right oops backwards is not the way to go okay i'm rushing a little bit guys because i know that the whole paper presentation <laughs> paper presentation kind of took some time off and now we're going to keep up with these i have to say dough oh thank you becky i appreciate that if you guys have seen those of you that are demonstrators um i don't know if you saw the how they call it, the promotional video um for for the one that's coming oh my god guys adorable um did i put that right yes you i mean adrian did you see it you may not want to miss that one. Um, I can tell you that it has, if you like that, the, how is it called? The Le Shop, Le Shop Suite. 
which I didn't get. Um, it's it's kind of has that format, that idea. I don't know how to say <laughs> that. Okay, so. Uh, well, that makes sense, Adrian. That makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to leave this white completely. And I was thinking that I thought at some point that I wanted to put this in here. Should we cover that and just put this in here, guys? What do you think? Kind of creates a continuum, huh? Oh, yay, Tara! Woohoo! Let me know what you guys think. I can leave that there or not. So we are going to move forward with this friend. I think it looks a little bit off because um, this is five and a half, but we cannot make this a little bigger. Um, I am thinking maybe if we try to cut in the same angle, but that's going to be a little bit complicated, and I don't think we have the time to calculate that. I think I'm going to go with putting this in here as is, and then we'll move from there. So where is my, okay, here it is. So the last thing we're going to do, and, and I know it's it's kind of wasteful, and that's what I was saying. I understand that I am using most of the stuff here. Okay, I got an idea. So I'm going to bring a little bit of extra white, and we're going to cut these into, we said it was, oh, see, Kiwi, I, I don't know if you've seen the new um, paper, not paper, yeah, paper pumpkin kit. This is going to be two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Um, I don't know if you see it, but um, if you saw it, not see it, but that is definitely a winner. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna bring my thingy here. And I am so proud of myself, guys, because I got new <laughs> extras. Extra blending brushes, which is a definitely a good thing. And I am going to go and kind of go over this. And yes, I'm going to color it all, all together. Let's see if it works. And what I am seeing in my brain works. And if not, it's paper and we can't get it. I don't know why I did this. It's totally wrong. So I'm going to turn it around because I don't like that. Okay. There we go. I do know how to blend, guys. I swear to God. Okay, and we're bringing a little bit more and a little bit extra here. And I am leaving that white because I figured you probably know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just creating a little bit of extra coloring here. So we're going to have these like that and then this is going to go on top of here now the question is do we want it white or do we i think it needs to be white right hmm let me bring another piece guys i think it needs to be white we said three two seven eights right by two seven eights if this is two seven eights that'll be ha 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 Yes, Kiwi, it is. I mean, I, they didn't show a whole lot, but it is very, very beautiful. I was very excited. Um, and I did not get Le Shop Suite. Um, I, I have been debating on it, but I I don't know, guys. I, I really, really like it. So, okay, here's the question. The question is, do we want it? in white and I think I prefer it in white than in hair because this takes away a little bit the flowers right and this kind of like really pops up the flowers I mean we can do something like putting in in the middle a little bit so it kind of has some, some like a soft background right what do you guys think leave what you like it blue? Be Becky likes it blue. Tara, do you mean you like it blue? I'm waiting. Okay, so we are going to attach these in here. And this is going to be, of course, we're going to attach. Um, thank you, Adrian. So we are going to attach just 
one side, right? So if this is the side, I'm gonna do this first. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I'm working backwards, Maria. So we're gonna use the pretty peacock, and we're gonna center this in our little square. And now we're going to bring some of those dimensionals to pop this up a little bit. And yes, you guys know I love my dimensionals and I'm okay with that. Where's my little guys? Little guys are here. Let me just go bring some for the top in here so it's not like fluffy. And one in here and one in here in the bottom. That works. Okay, blue it is. So we are going to get the this out. I know I say this like every other video, but I, I love so much that taking the backings of the dimensionals is such an easy process. Um, when I, this is funny, when I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I had just gotten from Amazon some of those cheaper ones, right? because I am that person. And, um, oh, wait, wait. Guys, wish me luck, okay. And I uh, I was like, the, taking the backs of that was beyond a pain in the rear neck. It was awful. I had never suffered this much taking something. It was really awful. So. I was really thankful when I moved here. I just think that this needs like a, you know, like a statement in there that it calls for. It is a, I'm going to, I'm going to move that a little bit. Okay. That did not work. I'm going to bring another one. Where's the most small ones? Here it is. I'm going to put this in here and we are going to put this in on top of it. So it holds it for me. And now we're going to put this in here to so make it easier for me. You guys know I love my bows. I love my bows. <laughs> ah, Jesus. But we're going to tie this. Just make a little tie, hopefully. Okay. Hello, Maria. See, you guys? Oh, you're not seeing, thankfully. <laughs> so you guys are like, yeah, why are we watching this lady that cannot even make a bow? Oh, God in heavens. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, yes, Becky. It does, huh? You're totally right. Let me see. Oh, my God in heavens, guys. Okay. I think we got it, mostly. I have to cut a couple of these. So I have to cut one. No, 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 no. Don't make any craziness. Yeah, this one has to go. And now we'll figure this out as best as I can within my little, small bow skills. Okay. Something like that. That was the idea. I think the idea is a good idea. Um, if you know how to make those. <laughs> but then again, I don't. Okay, so we're going to glue this in here. So I'm going to put glue in that, just like that, not a whole lot. And I am going to hold this in the center and make sure that it's centered as best as we can. And I'm holding these. <laughs> Tara, you're so funny. Yes, I have not. I have not. It is what it is. I think that I have discovered that I I so I am a I am a Malbec red so it's red wine Malbec drinker and that's kind of what I like. Not the only thing, but that's kind of what I like. Um, and okay, so this is getting so this is the card. Obviously, we need to help this crease remember where they where they need to go. Um, but sometimes I feel like I get like a rush if I have 
you know, let's say three glasses of wine, I get like little rations. So I don't know if it's me thinking that's true. Maybe it's not true. I don't know. But, you know. <laughs> okay, that's a good statement, Tara. I, I agree with that. And um, I think I would like something in here. You guys think, do we create back a sentiment in here? No, I think it's too much, right? I think that'll do. Yeah. That'll do. No, nothing else. Whoops. Just putting the stuff in the wrong side. So, ta-da! Hey, we still made it under an hour. I'm very, very surprised, even with showing off the paper and everything. <laughs> Guys. So, very simple, right? I love that you can totally use this and these and you can totally do this with the um, lotus lo that flower um, if you rather um, if of course if you have um, okay Becky no we are all on the same page I just always have to remember that um, thank you Brenda I'm so glad you like it that I talk and there's like, I don't know, like a 10 second, 15 second delay. So I don't get what you're saying until then. And so um, it does sometimes on my computer show up sooner. I don't know. Um, oh, oh, is Siffindel the one that's very sweet or is sweeter? I don't know. Anyways. It doesn't matter. So this is the card, guys. Like again, if you imagine these on on um, DSP, this is so much easier because you don't have to do any of this, right? Just the decoration in here, whatever you want to decorate in here, because the rest is going to be decorated with the paper. So much easier. So what she did was this piece was a four in the end, four by five and a quarter, and then she created a card base. Um, that is, that was five and a half by four and a quarter. Yeah. And so you just put it in it. So it had some stability. Um, but since, you know, we don't, we don't have that option here. We're going to be able, we just be able to do it, um, this way. Oh, thank you, Brenda. I'm so glad you guys like it. Um, yeah, mine, mine is definitely Malbec. That's the one I like. And I'm, I'm, I'm this really picky person people um oh thank you adrian um i like like only three brands <laughs> so not only i only like malbec i only like like three brands within the malbec world i mean don't get me wrong if if that's the one i'm gonna have that's the one i'm gonna have and if that's you know what whatever brand they have if i go to a restaurant that's fine right but if i'm going to buy it i'm going to like use one of those three brands and that's it. I know I'm that crazy person guys I think all day it's just made me pickier and pickier so I am glad you guys liked the card um I hope you guys are much better than I am making um a bow but <laughs> other than that the card is pretty pretty cool I think this is cute um it, and it works really well again you can totally do this with um the lotus flower too um because they have so much um variation to it okay let's say so adrian is recommending moscato okay is the moscato the one that's sweet i know there's one that's sweeter <laughs> and one of my um of our family members like moscato i think and i have the idea that that is so there is one so the one i like the most is Trapiche. And yeah, well, if you don't know, Malbec is, in order for it to be Malbec, Malbec, kind of like champagne, right? It, um, it, it just grows in Argentina in a specific area. And so um, Trapiche is the one I like the most. Uh, and they have a special one that's like brewed in, not brewed, <laughs> brewed. <laughs> well, worked on um, the an oak cask, and that one's really good. And then I really, oh hey Judy, how are you? 
<laughs> so here's the card, Miss Judy. And we're talking about wine now. <laughs> Because, you know, that's where we're at. So I, and then, so Trapiche is the one I like. Then there's Frontera, which also um, has Malbec. Frontera is from Chile, but they have some, um, uh, what's the name of this thing? They have a, a wine yard, vine yard, vine yard in, um, <clears throat> in that same area in Argentina. And then I think there's another, uh, another one. And I forgot, what's the other brand? So Frontera, uh, Trapiche. There is one that is called like High Note. I think that one is very good too. Anyways, so that's our conversation, our wine conversation for today. Miss Kiwi Doe. Yes, thank you, Kiwi. Kiwi's been, uh, Miss Kiwi, Miss Judy, you want to go to the beginning because I showed you the new paper. I'm coming back up here. I'm not sure why you're talking to the hands. I know it's very exciting to see my hands. Um, <laughs> I know. Sorry, guys. I just forget certain words like this. Words that I don't use often. And they're like, yeah, somewhere in there. I know there's a word, but I forgot the name of it. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for hanging out here with me today. Connie and Adrian. Um, yeah, I think Adrian, well, those of you who got the kit, uh, let me just, just reminding you, it will be ready as soon as I receive the, um, extra paper from Halloween that I need. I thought I was going to manage, but I did not. So I had to order it. Um, as soon as it came out, I had to order it and it's, it, it, it's coming. So hopefully it'll be here soon. And um, and then after that, I'll just chip them to you guys. It will have the PDF tutorial in it. I have not decided that, guys. I have to be honest. I have not decided if it's going to have the PDF tutorial inside or you'll just have a link to print it yourselves. Just because um, my printer is not in the best of conditions. I don't. We don't use it very often in here. Um, so I'm like, I don't know if it's going to like keep up with that <laughs> oh thank you I will so this is the one let's see there you go <laughs> okay guys it has been amazing sharing with you tonight and we definitely have some fun in these little videos. I love it. But don't forget, I will be uploading a card um, in the video on Sunday. Uh, it's a very cute card. You'll have two options. I made only one, but it's just the same thing. Um, yes, it's been a blast. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Connie. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll do the link because uh, I'll let you guys know. And I'll send you the link via email so you don't have to worry about it um and it's been a yes very much fun thank you i really appreciate you guys so so much uh thank you for being here it's been wonderful um and i will see you next tuesday but don't forget that there's that um simple stamping sunday series um that I am very excited about because some of those cards, yeah, I would not be, I would not be doing those cards in my regular lives, but I think you're going to love them. And I'm using the one, one horse open sleigh. Um, and I think it's just going to look, they are beautiful cards. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Brenda. You know, guys, what we need to do is one of these days, I'm just going to like get a Zoom and we'll just go and have a Zoom meeting and craft and drink wine, but then I'm not live. We'll be just us having a good time. <laughs> I'll be thinking about that. I just don't, I'm not very familiar with Zoom, so um, I don't know how to connect it to my software, I guess is what I should be saying. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful. <laughs> uh, 
Well, Tara, I I think I got it. So maybe it's a Spanish thing, Spanish speaking thing. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, guys, have a blessed rest of your Friday. I hope you have a lot of fun, and we'll be um, talking next Tuesday. And um, I hope you enjoy sunday's video and you enjoy and have a wonderful wonderful rest of your week let me remove i always make several mistakes when i'm trying to say goodbye um yes just to zoom huh okay just to zoom we got it i will work on it i'll just have to figure it out but we will have a lot of fun doing that <laughs> sounds amazingly great okay guys have a wonderful rest of your Friday and we'll be talking soon. Bye.